Huang Wenyong shot to fame in the classic 1984 drama The Awakening, and he became an icon of local TV drama. So this afternoon, he made his final journey past Caldecott Hill, where he left behind many happy memories and also earned the respect of those who worked with him. And I was there with friends and colleagues. Applause and appreciation from friends and colleagues here at Media Corp for the late actor Huang Wen Yong. His hearse is making its way past Caldecott Hill, where friends have gathered to say their final farewell. It's headed to the Bright Hill Temple Crematorium, where his funeral takes place this afternoon. Huang was, of course, a household name in the local media scene for decades, and he passed away on Saturday. He died of cancer. Whenever he's with us, he's always sharing his joy, joking, and he lightens up the mood of the whole atmosphere. He's such a darling to be near with. Even those people who stand, do a sun double for him, he makes sure that he's taken care of and then he's not injured at all. He always looks polite and very smiling and he moves with people very well. And I think you can uh, act very well. That's one of the most charming things about him. He's very friendly in studio. He will always greet everybody, regardless of who you are. You know? And it's, it's always in a friendly atmosphere when we go for studio recording. Well, earlier at noon, uh, hundreds of members of the public and dozens of TV stars, including Zoe Tay and Siang Yun, were there at the Teochew funeral parlor to send off his hearse. And one special group of colleagues was there as well, production staff. Now, all production work for Channel 8 was rescheduled or postponed so that they could attend the funeral. <laughs> From artists to behind the scenes production staff, they came by the busloads. And the poll bearers include Huang's celebrity friends, Te Ping Hui, Brian Wong, Zheng Ge Ping, and Pierre Peng. He has always had this liking for me, and uh, I mentioned before, whenever he sees me, he'll call me handsome, you know. But he'll always end it off with, with something to bring me down, bring me back to earth and say, but God is fair, you need to improve on your Mandarin. So, <laughs> that's Wen Yong Ge for you. Uh, I think the most important thing is that he always takes me out, he always takes me home. 一定要送到我的家然后他才觉得很放心他就是一个这么负责任的一个大哥让我留下一个美好的回忆就是他的笑容永远在我脑海中上一次刚刚好就是三十周年纪念那个领奖颁奖礼那个我见到他我说哎
Uh, I've known him since uh, 1986. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can you remember the first time that you met him? Uh, yes, the first time uh, I met him, uh, we were at the backstage of uh, a big show, and uh, he jokes around. Uh, he tries to make everyone relax uh, for the show, and then, but once he goes on stage, he's truly professional, delivers his work well, and um, he gains the respect of all of us. Mm -hmm. And what were your first impressions of him, apart from him being a funny guy and very professional? Um, I think my first, uh, back in the 80s already, he's uh, a star. So, um, but uh, the thing that struck me was he's very unassuming. Um, he has no airs. Um, he just connects with everyone. So he had that X factor, he was a star from the start, but what kind of a person and a colleague was he to you? He's a very caring colleague. Uh, I remember there was a time where I was on medical leave for a period and, uh, he's, and he came back to office and he saw me from the drama wardrobe. He was carrying his clothes and stuff and he stopped me and uh, he told me that he was very happy that I came back to work and uh, he told me to take care of myself. It was very sincere and heartfelt. So um, I, I cherished that moment with him very so much. So he was a really good person at the heart of it? In the heart, definitely, yes. Okay, so what do you think it was about him that made people love him so much and regard him as such an icon? Um, I think um, for him to be in this industry this long, um, besides his versatility, um, his tenacity. Uh, I think he is a guy who has this unique ability to be in the limelight without being consumed by the limelight. So I think this trait uh, is something that is uh, that uh, a lot of artists would uh, try to learn from. Right, so how different do you think uh, artists today are from Wen Yong or perhaps his breed of pioneers? He, he belongs to the generation where your craft is everything, um, acting is everything. Um, now in the entertainment industry, we, uh, a lot uh, of time is uh, also spent on branding and packaging. Mm -hmm. And um, in his time, he does not have the social media to propagate fans mm -hmm. and fan likes and, you know, social media, no. So acting is just simply the everything. So it's really his talent that, you know, has it's everyone his craft. On. I think it's his craft uh, that uh, made him uh, do the long haul till today. All right, so one last question. What do you think Won Young will be best remembered for? I think he will be best remembered for being the guy who used to uh, rush us home from the office or from school just to turn on the TV set to get our daily dose of Chinese drama and uh, someone who has the ability to gather generations of audience together and sit in front of this little box we call television. All right, thank you Ivy for sharing your thoughts with us and your thank memories. You. Thank you. And that was Ivy Lo sharing her thoughts on the late actor Huang Wenyong, and he will be missed.